In this video we're going to look at the three point linkage on an old 1961 Ferguson Industrial uh, Ferguson 35, FE 35, MF 35 It's actually a Ferguson 35 Industrial So the three point linkage is called that because the farm implement on this occasion it's a transporter box mainly used for transporting sheep or other goods around the farm um, I've, I've used it for a counterbalance weight I've got I have almost 1.1 uh, ton of block breeze block in the in the transporter box to counterbalance the weight that would have been on the front when I had the forks attached for carrying packs of block and packs of brick in order to build my house. So, the three point linkage, very straightforward. You've got one pin here, got one pin on the other side, you've got a pin here with the adjustable top arm, and that top arm you can spin this lever around, and then you have a thread at either end so you can increase or decrease that distance and in turn that will give you a tip on the farm implement so you can keep make sure you set the angle right for plowing the field or for distributing seed or on this occasion for keeping all my block inside of my transporter box once I'm ready to go with this I'll wind this in to reduce the size and that will make that will give a, a slight camber or incline on the transporter box to keep all the block nice and safe um, in order to take this off in order to remove the transporter box I'd lower it down to the ground set it down to the ground um, I would undo the take the shackle off the other side of this pin where the hole is there I take this pin out to release the top arm before removing the bottom pins off the off the bottom arms now these arms lift up with the hydraulic lift lever here but also I can set them manually for when I attach the transport box if it's on an uneven ground or if the tractor is on an uneven ground I can adjust the, the rise and fall of the bottom arms and there's one on each side typically they'll they'll usually be just one adjustment arm but I've got I've got the two on here so I could just make my life a little easier really so you can adjust the height manually so if you're at the back of the tractor attaching the transport box I can just lift these up and down if that's to get the, the pin through the the rotating eye here of the, the three-point linkage um, if I use the hydraulic lever whilst the tractor is running that will lift it up and down easily but when I'm at the back of the tractor it saves me getting back on I can just lower it it's a lot more it's a lot more um, accurate as well a lot more detailed so I could adjust them up and down if it if it is that the the eyes in the bracket on the transport box need to come forward or backward then this would be attached first the top arm and because I can adjust the incline decline of the box it means that I can bring the eye closer or further away to line up with the um, rotating ball in here the that's encased in the casting of the lower arm okay so I'll start the tractor up now and then you'll see As 
as I lift the, uh, the, the lever up, the hydraulic lever. You see that transport box lift up. Not easy to do with one hand whilst the other hand's holding the camera, but still, there you have it. Then you come round here, make sure that's slack, and then you'll see the pins are quite tight, so now you have to start messing about with lifting this up or lowering it down until that becomes loose. And as soon as that's loose, it means that the pin will be ready to come out. So. both sides out okay so if I look carefully this pin is very tight at the moment if I look on the inside here there's the pin going through the hole of the transport box there's a bigger gap here than there is here which means that the hydraulic arm the, the lower um, the bottom arm is pushing inwards so if I turn this top arm to push out the top of the transport box it should give me some slack for removing that first pin so it's not really very graceful but it's good enough and the same for this side I can see on this side there's a gap at the back here and it's tight at the, it's tight at the front so in turn what's on I've got to turn the top arm now the opposite way to pull the transport box closer to the track back of the tractor and I'll just show you that so when I pull the transport box closer to the tractor you'll see the pin becomes central in that hole and then enables me to remove that pin next thing to do is to remove the top arm and that's that's quite tight in there so I need to slacken this top arm off so you can see that this is able to re remove allowing me to take away the top arm then I'm going to make sure the pins all go back into place so that they don't go missing and I'm now going to move, pull the tractor forward. Um, as you pull the tractor forward, obviously double check that there's definitely nothing attached. And that's it. That's how a three point linkage works. Stage one on the back of a Ferguson 35 Industrial. Thanks for watching.